Hello, today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take out your estimation results from Stata into your MS Word file. Okay, so now for this, what we will do is we will go to Stata and in Stata, we will first of all install with the help of a command that is SST install EST OUT estimation output for so ssc install est out here it will install it will check for the est out whether it is already installed or not and if it is not installed then it will install it from internet you should have an internet connection for this and uh, now this system is checking for est out whether it is already installed or not because it is already installed on my system so it will show that uh, the files are already installed but if it is not installed on your computer then then it will get installed with the help of this command so here all files are already exist and are up to date now with the help of this est out we will take out the results and for this first of all we will run a, our regression model to run our regression model I will run my regression model here this is my regression where I have used the three stage least square and I am running it after running it this is the, these are my results and I want the results on in MS Word file so for this what I will do is first of all whatever I have estimated for this table I will give a name to this table and the name will be given with the <coughs> another command that is ESTSTO so uh, I will write here ESTSTO and uh, I will give any name to it you can give any name I am giving it name estimation estimation 1 okay so estimation 1 is the estimation which I have the, the, the this table's name which I have given and now after this the name has been given now I will use another command that is ESTTAB yes e, here ESTSTO means estimation store okay so estimation store in this this uh, this name so now I will use another command that is ESTTAB and uh, ESTTAB using using after this I will write here where would you like your MS Word file to be so for this if you want your MS Word file to be for example if you want it to be in your PC's F disk and in F disk you want set output and here you want your results to be here okay uh, I'm deleting the previous one, previous test now if you want your results to be here in new folder always remember that if you are having uh, if you are going to take out your results then any folder which you are using should not have any space for example you can't have any folder which is having uh, which is uh, whose name is having any space in between for example if you are using such a such a name for example new folder then stata will show error so you should not have any space in between any name okay so now I am creating this new folder here and uh, in this folder I want my results to be here okay so for this what I will do is I will copy the path to copy the path I will right click here and copy address I will copy the address and I will paste it here using control V okay so now you can see here the path has been copied and after this I will write the name of the MS Word file which I want to use okay so for this I will I will give any name I will give any name to my MS Word file let us suppose that I am giving the name as test estimate test estimate 1 okay dot doc this will be the name of my estimation result ms word file 
now i will enter and my file my ms word file is ready you can see here if i click here it will show a table okay and in this table what are these things okay these are my variables these are my different variables okay uh, this uh, this uh, is for the demand equation and this is for supply equation okay and uh, what are those things what are those things i'll show you here if you can see here what are those things this is this is your this first of all whatever is written here these are your coefficient these are your coefficients you can see here these are your coefficients the first one and second second is your minus 5.28 that is your that is your z statistics okay that is your z or you can say if it is p statistics okay so second second one is your p statistics and uh, t statistics or you can say z statistics okay which are present here okay but uh, here you can see that these are not being shown p values p values whether the whether it is significant or not that is not shown here okay so if you don't want the p statistics and instead of that if you want your p values here then for that what can you do for that you can do another thing that is your if you see here you can type here this uh, after ESCTAB using this file name and uh, I will give another name to this file now let's say I am giving it name as test estimate 2 okay dot doc and uh, now with a comma after a comma I will write here P. If I write here P, then what it will do? What it will do is here you can see instead of those Z values or P statistics, now you have got the P values. Here you can see. 0 0.00, 0 0.012, 0 0.00, 0 0.519 here. Okay, so now you have got the you have got here. These are the p values, and here you can see that it has written p values in parentheses. Okay, so you can switch over to p values if you want. P values instead of Z statistics or P statistics okay so this is another command which you can use with the help of this after comma you have to put P now if you want to make some other changes so for that what you can do is for that let us suppose that you want uh, these two things to be uh, in different columns means uh, you want your results to be in different columns means you want these and this value in different column and the p values in different column for that what you can do is for that i will create a new table and uh, <coughs> what i will do is i will use another command here that is oh, everything else will remain same but but here what i will write i will write here white okay so what white will do is just wait here it is saying that uh, it is already exist so if it is already existing then uh, if you want to replace the same uh, same ms word file if you want to replace the same ms word file then uh, you can use here another command that is replace okay but if you want to create a new 
MS Word file, then you have to change this name. Okay, so if uh, I'll show you if you want uh, to be replaced, means uh, your test estimate 2 will be replaced now. So for that, what you will do is you will write here replace, and now you enter here, and uh, the same MS Word file will be replaced replaced with the new result here and you can see here the same test estimate 2 has been replaced with new one that is this now you can see here in the previous one these values were shown under the coefficients these values were shown under the coefficients but here they both are in different columns and it looks pretty nice okay so this is how you can with the help of the wide command that is wide this wide command you can you can change the format of your table okay so now after this uh, let us suppose that you also don't want those you don't want those parent parentheses okay so if you don't want those parentheses here then you can remove those parentheses also and how you can remove those parentheses you can remove those parentheses with the help of another command that is uh, if you want okay uh, you write here no parentheses Okay, and no parenthesis and you can replace the you can use the replace command here okay if you write here replace then the previous test estimate to result will be replaced with the new result but you can do one more thing if you want your result to be shown under this table okay you want your results to be shown here after after this after this you want it, your results to be shown here under this table then for new table what you can do is what you can do is you can write here append a double p e n d okay one second here just don't say cancel it out and now you again go for this and uh, you can see here now that this was your first table where I have I had not used the no parenthesis command and after this I have created a new table in which my parentheses are not here okay so this is how what you can do is you can remove your parenthesis also and uh, one more thing you can do is if you want these points to be to be to be up to after point you want four digits if you want four digits after points or if you want five digits after point then what you have to do is you can do one more thing and that is you write here no parenthesis and with P you write here 4 okay if you write here 4 it means that after point it will show up to 4 digits okay so and I am using here again I am using here append so that it may be shown might be it will get it will be shown to you under the previous two tables now here you can see this was the my first table where there were parentheses this is my second table where there is no parentheses and now here this is my third table and under uh, under the previous two tables and here you can see that I used that four after P so here it is showing my points up to four digits if you want your point to be shown 
only up to two digits then you can write here here you can write two okay or any number you want okay so this is how you can use uh, the various things in EST, with ESTTAB to get your estimated results now there are there is one more thing and uh, that is that uh, what you can do is if you want now let us suppose that you want to create another result another estimation result if you are creating any uh, any other estimation result and you want its output on, in the ms word file then for this output first of all you have to come out of this estimation result means you have to come out of this the estimation one named estimation result so for this what you have to do is because if you will not come out of this estimation store estimation one the next estimation store will get mixed up with the previous estimation store uh, result and it will give mixed results which are which is wrong okay so if you want another estimation and you want its output in ms word file then what you have to do first of all you get out of this this uh, estimation result first of all okay so for this what you have to do is you have to write here ESTSTO clear ESTSTO is clear now you have come out of this estimation store estimation one means you have come out of this regression result and now you can run a new regression model and you can take out your results in the same way as we have done here okay now if now let us suppose that you want another another result okay so another result is let us suppose that this is another result where my uh, this variable is not present and uh, this variable is not present and this is my new result okay so for that what i will do is i will run it in the same way i will run it and after running it i will again give it a new name that is est sto and uh, est estimation i will give it estimation 2 the previous one was given as estimation 1 i am giving it the name estimation 2 and th now this is the new name and everything else will be done in the same way okay everything else you will do in the same way as we have done and this these results will be shown on your ms world file so i hope that you liked my video and uh, thanks for stopping by